A few days ago, I shared my sales CRM system with you. All you have to do is sign up to my newsletter. The link is still in the description if you want access to that. And I was just going to leave it at that. This was not the plan for today's video, but I said at the beginning that I was going to go through this whole process with you and we were all going to set ourselves up for success together. And so today I found myself a little bit frustrated and whenever I find myself frustrated these days or feeling any sort of friction point, my go-to question has been, what would this look like if it were easy? My conclusion to that question was it would be easier if all of my leads automatically went into my sales CRM system. So this is an actual problem or pain point that I was struggling with today. And then I had the thought that I could set this up through Zapier. And then I had the thought, if this is helpful for me, then maybe I should share it with you too, in case you want to do the same thing. So my plan is to set up my project inquiry form on my website connect it to Zapier and allow that connection to automate any new inquiry going into my sales CRM in Notion. Now to do this, one thing I had to do is come into my sales CRM system, exact same as yours. All I've done is hide my clients and my leads because I don't think I should be sharing them. But other than that, it's exact same. But then what I did was I came into my project inquiry form on my website I looked at all the questions and all the data that I was collecting and then I just came into the sales CRM and then I just added extra columns so that there was space to collect information in all of those questions so that we can map it in Zapier. So your first step is to come in and to add those columns based on whatever your project inquiry form is and then you can come into Zapier and we're going to hit create zap. Let's click the orange button. It's pretty. The first thing we're going to do is search for the app. So we're going to search for Squarespace and then new form submission, continue, select my account, click continue. And then I have to pull in the forms. This is where it's good if you name your forms. I think mine is this one, project inquiry form, continue. It's going to test it for us, which is awesome. Perfect, that all works. And then we want to connect it to Notion. We want to create a database item continue and again if you haven't signed up for Zapier you will have to sign up for Zapier and connect your accounts in this process so I'm just going to select my account click continue and then it's going to ask me which database I want to pull the information into so my sales CRM right here at the top perfect and you'll see here now it's pulled in all of those columns for us to map the data to so lead name, that would be our, if we go to show all options, I want to map that to the person's name. So we'll do that there. Website, we would just go in and map it to their website. Deadline, so that's one of my questions. So I'll come in here and map that. There we go. Do I have, do you have a deadline for the project? Suitability, now this is one that I customize in Notion, so that wouldn't be mapped. Stage, I'm going to change it to inquiry, so it will automatically be tagged as an inquiry. Location, again, it's just a case of going through and mapping all of these out. Email address, social profile, there we go. Lead source is how did you find me? It's a little bit easier if you name them exactly, but I did not do that. Budget, they have to mark that as true. Additional notes, I think I've got this as questions. There we go. And you'll see this is in a funny order. I think that's just because I added it in a funny order in Notion. You can customize that in Notion though. Potential, this is after we get on the project inquiry call. I ask if they've read my welcome pack, so I would have that as true because they have to answer that. So referrer, I always mark as my own website. I'm asking them how did they find us, but the lead came through my website, so I want to take note of that as well. This part is in Notion. Briefly describe your business, that is a question, so I'll go in and map that. And then this, I'm just gonna leave blank. So I'm gonna hit continue gonna test it for me and fingers crossed it works oh look it said ready to publish that's a good sign it worked I think it worked that means I get to share this video with you today so I'm gonna hit publish and turn on and I think we should have an example because they tested it over in Notion oh look I think I can share a copy with you perfect so if I come over here and it's there we've got it all filled in 
and I'll probably go through this as well and do another dummy test just to make sure it works. But if you look, it's pulled in the lead, the referrer, everything that we've got mapped out here. I've got all of the information in here. So it's all automated and I don't have to go in and manually add that myself, which is a big win for me. So hopefully you found this helpful. I will include this copy so that you can see how it's all set up, but you would just go ahead, add these additional columns for the data you're collecting, set it up in Zapier. So it's a new form submission, connect to Squarespace, connect it to the right form. Then you want to create a database item in Notion and then you just map the different columns Make sure you test it and it's all working, publish it and you're good to go. Let me know if this is something you're gonna try as well. I know I'm super excited about it, but what matters is if this is valuable and helpful for you too. So let me know in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Who knows, that one might be a surprise too. You just have to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can find out when I release the next video. Oh.